Hey coaches, welcome to our Diamond Dash. Woo -woo! We are so excited to have you guys here. We are here live and we are going to kick this off with a little intro telling you guys about us and what we are going to help you guys with. We are so excited to kick this off. It's going to be amazing. So I'm Shannon Galladay and I'm excited to get started here. So I am a four-star in my first business, a two-star in my husband's, and a one-star in my second business. Um, total lifetime diamonds that I've helped personally sponsor nine on my team. Um, I'm a 2014 premier um, coach, and I'm really excited to be here with you guys to talk to you about time management, how to schedule your time, and how to be very effective with your time. So... I'm a busy mom of three. I just had a baby um, nine weeks ago. So I went through a whole pregnancy as a coach and I you know, definitely know what it's like to be busy. And you know, during that time, I couldn't work out part of the time just because of pregnancy and recovering and C-section and all of that. And so, but I was still able to hit success club, still able to help my team rank advance and grow the business. So it is possible and I'm excited to help you just give you my best tips on how to stay laser focused and get the results you want out of your business. So I'm going to turn it over to Candice. Take it away. Hey everyone, Candice Talbot here. I am so pumped to talk to you guys about recruiting. It is like my all time favorite topic. Um, I am a 10 star diamond coach, 2014 elite coach. Uh, I have 20 personally sponsored diamonds. And uh, I am approaching my three-year anniversary. And I can tell you that this three years has completely changed my life. And it mostly comes from the fact that I've recruited a ton of coaches and helped them succeed. You know, one of the biggest um, struggles for me in my business was working this business, raising my two children at home. Uh, when I started, my kids were three and one. Those are like the worst ages to do anything. You can't do anything. You can't sit down to type an email without getting distracted. You can't talk on the phone without getting distracted. Um, so I really had to push through those tough years of you know poopy diapers and potty training and all of that stuff to build this business. So one of the things that I did is I had my smartphone on me everywhere I went, especially my first year. The first year I worked really, really hard. I brought that phone in the bathroom for tubby time. I brought it upstairs when I was putting the kids down to bed. I brought the phone everywhere. I definitely ticked my husband off a lot, but guess what? I don't do that that much now. I don't, but you're going to work really hard your first year. You know, you need to, um, Definitely connect with your spouse uh, and let them know, hey, this is what's going on. I need your support. Um, you know, if you have to help me put the kids to bed some nights or whatever it might be, it's definitely a team effort between you and your partner or whatever your house situation is. But just know, um, you know, I've had coaches tell me, you know, I can't neglect my kids. You know, we're not leaving kids in poopy diapers all day for three and four hours at a time. Um, yeah, there were times where I'd say, hold on a minute, I'm just typing this message. But I assure you that it comes to an end at some point and that you can actually think a couple years in. So anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, just please, guys, believe in this business, believe in yourself, believe in how amazing that smartphone can be to helping you succeed. So really excited for this week. Awesome. All right, Shane, you're next. Thanks, Shannon and Candice. Okay, hi guys. Uh, welcome to our Diamond Dash. I'm so excited. This has been like my fourth or fifth Diamond Dash, and I'm so excited that we're bringing this to you. A little bit different, a little bit more laser focused this time. So for those of you that don't know me, um, I am an 11 star qualifying coach. I am a two star diamond in my second business center. I have been a coach for three and a half years. Uh, let's see, I live in Bethany, Connecticut. I'm the founder of Wild Impact. Uh, I worked this business from day one as a full-time social worker in a children's court 
dealing with really tough custody matters. Uh, and so I hear a lot, and I know you're thinking right now, you know, what a tough business to try to squeeze it all in when you work full time. So I'm here to tell you that I get it, I understand, and I'm going to show you that that actually can be used to your advantage, that that's not something that you should let hold you back. Because uh, honestly, guys, that's just an excuse. Because if I can do it, anyone can do it. So again, yes, I built a 10-star diamond business working full-time, and I have two very active young kids who are in a ton of activities. Uh, so yes, I'm in the trenches with you. I, I, I understand. So I want to bring to you some really good information about your team culture and engaging your team and engaging your coaches on the importance and how to hit success club because it is the core of our business that is how we gauge real success and personal development you know I didn't do personal development the first several months of my business uh, and I'll tell you this when I made a decision to change that everything changed. So we're going to talk a lot about that too. So guys, get ready. Give it a hundred percent. This is going to be such an exciting time for your business right before the new year. So with that, I'm going to, I'm going to send it off to Don. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm very psyched to be here as well. Don Murphy. Um, I live in Newburgh, New York with my wife, Tammy, and we have a 22 month old toddler son named Cole. So we also have our hands very full. And as these guys have been saying, time management is a big part of this. And we all have a lot of responsibility in our lives. So just to give you a little bit of my background, um, my primary career is that of managing partner of Gold's Gym in Newburgh, New York. So this is a very large health club that my mother actually bought back in 1986. I was in high school at the time. We now have over 10,000 members. It's a 70,000 square foot fitness facility. Um, and it's really my second home. I work 60 plus hours a week in that alone. Now, I turned to Beachbody, Team Beachbody, almost four years ago. That's when I became a coach. So I'm a six-star diamond in my first business center, diamond in my second business center. My wife is diamond, and my mother is a one-star diamond. So that's like another whole business that we're working at the same time. <clears throat> And a lot of people say, well, that's because you have this gym with all these members. And the reality is my business or our business as a family has not been built in the gym. It's been built beyond the four walls of the gym. And that's what I recognized when I became a coach. You know, a lot of people struggle with speaking with fitness professionals and gym owners because they get a lot of pushback thinking, well, Beachbody is going to compete with what I'm trying to do in the gym and nothing could be further from the truth. So when I signed up as a coach, I saw what this team was doing and I immediately started sharing the coach opportunity with everyone that I knew. And so what I'm going to bring to the table is our two webinars, the first of which is going to happen tomorrow night. So hopefully you've been, you've registered for the webinar tomorrow on the master's hammer and chisel guys. I'm telling you right now, make sure you invite every prospect and potential customer that you have to this presentation because I promise you that when they're done watching this, they're going to run to sign up with you as your co as their coach and be part of your challenge group. Tammy and I were part of the test group. The results that we experienced were profound. And in my professional opinion, as a, as a fitness professional and somebody who's been doing this for a long time, it is the most effective 60-day fitness program ever created. And you're going to find out why tomorrow night. So get them onto that webinar. The second webinar that I'm going to do is in a couple of weeks, and that's going to be Team Beachbody, the coach opportunity. And so what I've done, when I first signed up as a coach, I started sharing this opportunity in a way that was professional and has evolved tremendously to what it is today. So hopefully you're going to learn how I give that presentation. I'm going to share the PowerPoint slides with you. And you definitely want to invite prospects to that presentation as well. People that you want to share the coach opportunity with, invite them to that presentation. We'll make it happen. And then you can learn how to do it yourself as well. So I'm looking forward to this journey for the next month. It's going to be great. Thank you so much. And uh, over to Tara. Hi, guys. My name is Tara Bilek. I am a 15-star diamond um, elite coach. I have... Um, been in the business for about two years. 
I actually have three little ones. And when I started, um, I was, it was in August, I was going back to teaching because I was a teacher as well. And um, my kids were five, three, and one at that time. So I didn't need something else on my plate, but I was really intrigued by what coaching was all about. I really wanted to help others, right? So what I did was I shared my story and I began um, just sharing as much as I could on Facebook. And that's what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is how to sell without being salesy and sharing your journey and sharing your story because it's a huge part of that, of not trying to sell or push people into things. Um, so I'm going to talk about that, but also with being a teacher, um, something that really stuck out with me from the beginning was as a teacher, you have so much on your plate. And I remember there's always something else that you could be doing. There's always more stuff to do. You're bringing home your work. You're br it's very taxing. And I remember just, I remember Melanie Metro saying, um, do things that other people won't do, you know, to get ahead, right? So she would get up early every morning. And I said, you know, I would teach high school. I can't really get up any earlier, but I made it a point to do that. I said, okay, if I have to get up at four o'clock, I will. You know, it's a short period of time to do the things that are necessary. And you know what I found? That when I was doing those things, I got so much done during the hour um, that it wasn't weighing on my shoulders all day. And I was more productive and I was actually in a better mood doing them in the morning and getting my invites done and all of that. And that when I was coming home or during lunchtime, I had my phone on me at work, obviously. But, you know, when I had those breaks, I could respond to people and that just kept the flow of the day going. So it wasn't all on my shoulders at night after, you know, bath time, getting my work done for school the next day, everything and the kids and all of that. Who wants to invite at nine o'clock at night? It's really hard to get in that momentum um, and that, um, and you're kind of tired and the day kind of drags you down. So I'm going to talk a little bit about morning routine too when we get into my week, which is the second week, but I'm really excited for you guys. I really think if you commit and just say, I'm going to make this happen, I'm going to take some, I'm going to tweak what I'm doing, make it better, and I'm going to commit to the next month, you will see huge gains in your business, especially going into the following year. Yeah. And I, I mean, hammer and chisel, like I am Don, you talking about that. I'm just even more pumped up. Okay. So that's, that's amazing. That is coming out during this. I know. I know. So you guys better be ready. Game changer. It's a game changer. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. Who's our last person, Tim. Yes. Uh, hi everybody. How's it going? My name is Tim Werner. Uh, I'm coming up on my two year anniversary. Uh, I'm a one star diamond. And um, what I'm bringing to this is these five awesome coaches here are going to teach you how to grow long-term sustainability in your business. I am going to give you instant gratification. I have the money for you all. <laughs> so, so at the end of all this, all of you are going to hit diamond and you are all going to get paid by me. So great job for that already. Um, one of the obstacles that I have faced as a coach is myself. Um, that is one of the biggest things I've had to, to challenge myself with is all the insecurities that I've had, talking to new people, coming out of my shell. Um, personal development is really what has helped me with that. So we have two awesome books that we're going to be reading in this, um, and I highly recommend looking for other ones that, that fit you. Uh, I've read a few myself that I started and it, it didn't jive with me, but then I found some others that really connected with me and it really kind of opened my eyes give me a lot of the aha moments that have changed my business and taken me to the next level. So I recommend that to all of you as well as after this, continue to your personal development, look for those books that you can connect with, talk with your upline and they have a lot of suggestions that they can give you um, as far as where you're at in your development. Awesome. Wow. Look at how awesome this is going to be. We are so excited to share all the things that we've learned and help everyone succeed. 
So welcome to this Diamond Dash. Thanks for sticking with us over the holiday season. It is going to be amazing. So we want to see, you know, who are the action takers? Who actually watched all of this video? And who is ready to roll? So post in the comments below. We want to see what you learned from this. What are your biggest takeaways? And what are you going to implement right away? So we can't wait to read your comments and to kick off the week starting tomorrow. So let's do this, coaches. Have a great time. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.